O'Brien, who uh, wrote the book, the music, the lyrics, and the screenplay, and uh, who also plays Riff Raff, the hunchback in the film. Welcome to Take Two. Thank you. I can't believe there's anybody left who hasn't seen the movie, but could you sort of give us a brief summary of the plot? Well, it's a um, Babes in the Wood sto story, basically. Um, I've heard it described as two virgins seduced by a transvestite, transvestite from outer space. That pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? Well, that does, yeah. <laughs> It's the only movie I've ever heard of, too, with a fan club. How did it come to be a cult classic, do you think? I have no idea. I wish I did know. I wish, I th I'm wish. i sure a lot of people wish they did know. Do you uh, think it's going to last another ten? Uh, who can say? I didn't even think it was going to last um, five weeks. Well, I thought we'd run for five weeks with a, with a stage play. But um, that was it, as far as I knew. What does don't dream it, be it mean? It means realize your dreams. Um, don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. The only person that can stop you doing something is yourself, basically. So it's a message movie. Well, it's a <laughs> childish message, but a good one. We have a clip, uh, one of the dance scenes from the uh, movie. It's called The Time Warp. I've been practicing all morning, by the way. I want to look at that some more. There you are. Oh. There was Riff Raff. What <laughs> beauty, what beauty. <laughs> You were quoted to as saying that we all feel like freaks sometimes. Well, the truth of the matter is, 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 of course, we all are freaks, aren't we? There is no norm. There is no standard. There is no one person that can stand up and say, I am the perfect example to which, towards which all others should aspire. Uh, we're, God made us in different ways, thankfully. <laughs> the party tonight, I understand, it's going to be quite a bash. Can you tell us about it? Well, yeah, there's going to be about t two and a half thousand people there, and uh, there's going to be look-alike contests, and there's going to be some live performances from some of the people that were in the movie, myself included. And, um, well, it's a great way to celebrate Halloween. The most uh, amazing thing that Rocky's done, of course, is put the fishnets into Halloween. <laughs> uh, I think to have affected an already existing festive uh, uh, celebration, uh, is is quite wonderful. I mean, if you were the person that had put the bunny into Easter, you'd be quite proud, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, I saw this film in Sacramento, and uh, I was really surprised by the people there. I mean, here it was, midnight in Sacramento. I didn't know that that kind of person existed in Sacramento, the first uh, place, but I understand that one of the biggest contingents coming to the party tonight will be from Sacramento. You have people coming in caravans and buses from all over the country. I know, it's quite extraordinary, isn't it? I, I can't begin to explain why it should be so, but uh, it's a happy band, I must say. All the people I've met over the years that, are, that have, are involved in this activity of following the show have been just delightful. Well, it's logical that there should be a sequel, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, who knows? You don't think you should do that? I, I have no idea. I'll, uh, if, the, if the time is right and the now, idea is right. It seems to me that um, I read about somebody doing something similar, not a sequel necessarily, but something that they hoped would develop in the same way. Do you know anything about that? Mm, no, I don't actually. Where is it? I saw this, uh, somebody else doing the same thing. Don't know about that, huh? No. Well, I, I asked you this before, but uh, I'd like to know how much longer do you think this can go on in midnight movies throughout the country. I've, uh, some people are saying that it's kind of losing its uh, oomph, that people aren't throwing the rice with the same degree of um, enthusiasm. Well, you've, you've, got to, you've got to realize that I, that I live in England and I don't really see a great deal of this activity, but Sal Piero, who follows it very closely, says, ask me in another 20 years and I'll give you the answer. Uh, I, think, I think some things, once they've gone, like the mousetrap, you know, once it's run for so long, it sort of generates its own perpetual motion. And uh, who knows, it might, it might finish tomorrow, but it may go on for the next 30, 40 years. I, I have great sympathy with uh, the general public if it does so, but quite frankly, it's a, <laughs> it's a wonderful pension scheme. <laughs> I assume you will be in costume tonight as Riff Raff. Um, I, I, look, if, if, I wore, if I wore the, the most ordinary suit. I look as if I'm in fancy dress. Uh, so what the hell? <laughs> All right. Richard O'Brien, thank you very much for being with us today. It's my pleasure. Good luck at your party tonight. I wish I could be there. It sounds like fun. Thank you.